Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. So last time we got the fragment of Ithiruthrad. I really need to drop off a bunch of junk. So in fact, I'm just going to do a quick edit here as so I get straight over to daytime. Alright. Oh, a bit of this. And a bit oh, what's going on with your mouth? Please. Please no. It's terrifying. Uh, give me all your gold. Uh, do you have anything I want to buy? <laughs> Not really. I mean, have, okay, I'll get that. Take these. I just want to sell you stuff. It's always very interesting that he has a troll skull. I, I don't know if there's really an explanation ever given for that. Oh, uh, now let's sell him more junk. Here, take that. Uh, we can sell him, of course, some gems, but we don't really need to. Need to clear out our potions. Okay. And we don't really need poison, so let's also get rid of those. Keep the healing pots. Although I very rarely will use those anymore either. Emperor robes, don't question the fact that I still have those in my inventory. Jester robes, don't question the fact that I have like four different armor sets in my inventory. These are all normal things to carry. Uh, Staff of Paralysis. That's a lot of money I can get. Uh, whatever, 600 is fine. Let's clear out my inventory. So, as we can clearly see here, uh, Bethesda is very good at writing uh, the companions. I talked a lot about that in the last episode. And we're going to see more and more things I dislike about the companions coming up here. Uh, we get greeted outside this time. Oh, uh, before we talk to him. Always click on it whenever you get the chance. All right, what do you got for me? Have you? It's raining outside. That sort of sucks. Yeah, why should I care? I'm Greg Piss. I wait for no one. He <laughs> just... I hate them, so give them the worst dialogue options. It doesn't even affect anything. Thank you, Skyrim. Come on, Vilkas. Run. Run, you milk boy. All right. Oh, I didn't get to stand in the right spot. I'm on angle. Look, look at this. We're in the, the crescent moon here. Uh, let's enjoy the texture pack for a moment here. Very good. Ooh, just take a good look at this texture pack. As it destroys my frame rate because it's raining. Like, look at this. We, we've done two missions so far. And they're already trusting me. It stands ready to meet the blood of his foes. Like it, it literally makes no sense. We went into one dungeon. Why would you raise a mug in my name? Oh my god! Like literally, only one person said anything on my behalf. Like, shouldn't it be all of them have to say something on my behalf for me to get promoted? Oh, but what is promotion matter? There's no leadership. There's no ranks. Oh my goodness, this faction. Oh my goodness. Well, boy, you're one of us. I trust you won't disappoint. Yeah, great. And now we're gonna go talk to her. She's the one uh, we get our missions from. It seems that a predator has invaded their. Good. All right, off to kill a predator. Yeah, yeah, great. Keep talking. Okay, animal extermination. Don't you love the companions? It's like in the other games, it's a joke that you get sent on a fetch quest to kill rats. And in this game, it's the main plot. <laughs> or uh, the main quest, I should say. Like the main quest in the other games, like, hey, joke's on you. In your first mission, you have to kill some rats. And then after that, you never really have to do it again. I mean, I guess Oblivion one time you had to kill a saber tooth tiger with the rats, which was a twist on the Morrowind one. But in this one, you're just the entire quest line. You're just killing rats. So we're back in our favorite city. Well, my favorite city. 
Okay, yeah, you go in here. The texture pack really makes those stand out. Uh, really, there's there's an abomination in the treasury. How did this happen? I thought I got rid of all the um, the heresy people in this area. Welcome to Skyrim, by the way. There we go. Uh, yeah, so there was a bear in here. I got rid of all the reach men, and somehow you guys get a bear in here? You kidding me? Look at what happened last time. Okay, we're out of here. Ay, ay, ay. I tell you, they never learn. They never learn their lesson. So, um, there you go. That's, um, <laughs> great. We've done a, we've done another main quest for the companions. I feel so invigorated. I feel so deeply intertwined and connected to these characters. They have truly bonded to me. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, 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 ay. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. And once again, we touch the rock for no apparent reason. Okay, then. And I like how he just goes back to yelling. Thank you. Uh, thank you for your thing. I, I'm Scudder. I can't even say his name. Because I literally only... I usually actually just kill that character. But, you know, we're not about violence. I've heard you. Hmm? The snow bear's dead. The owner of that place is relieved. They certainly can't hey, can you train me to be better at bow? Oh, I can't train anything until I level up lame. Looking for work? Still, he has something special planned for you. Oh, great. I'm a warrior, not a black. I'd be dead. Ah, not for can't you just tell me if the grip is bad? Uh, you wanted to see me? Yes, but it's not for. We will speak more. I forget. Okay. So we've done three missions, and now they're going to accept us into the inner circle. With my life, which is more than I'd say for the milk drinkers who raised me. All right then. Not now. The Underforge tonight. Uh, yeah. So uh, he keeps saying that until you do it. So let's go over here. Uh, we can stand here all day, or we can click the wait button. Uh, we're gonna go to the definitely hidden door. Definitely hidden. There's no door here. It must be your imagination. Uh, we're gonna wait, and uh, we'll give him 11 hours. Uh, inconspicuously, no one's gonna notice us out here. It's definitely like none of them are gonna be carrying a torch or something. That'd be completely preposterous. Okay. Okay, no one, no one knows. We're here, top secret. Like, look at this, Ron. No, the new members won't know about this. The new members won't think anything suspicious is going on here. Definitely not. Okay. Excuse me, lighting? Lighting? It be lit, it be dark. It do be like that. Not now. The Underforge, tonight. Okay, I get it. Excuse me. Not now. The Underforge tonight. Can you walk five feet? You okay. Not now. The Underforge at night. Are you prepared? <laughs> okay. Oh my goodness. You here to make you stronger. Yeah. Yeah. Now let's move. Yeah. So I get forced to become a, a werewolf. Uh, don't worry. I will turn myself right back into a vampire at the end of this. What's up? Just growling? Okay, great. Uh, we're gonna skip this dialogue. Mind yourself. Come on. We do this in secret because be careful to reach the heights of the companions. Oh my Point goodness. Uh, you can put totems on this thing. It makes your werewolf pretty fun. You could spam uh, werewolf summons. I think a uh, YouTuber by the name of Spiffing Brit has some great videos on how easy it is to break this wonderful game. Yep. Yeah, we don't get a choice, so don't even ask the other dialogue option. You just get to learn more about why the rating in this is bad. Look at, they made this whole animation. Holy, you just cut her hand off. Oh my goodness. So this is how you become a werewolf, apparently. You just, uh, 
Drink some blood. I mean, I'm a vampire, but sure. Uh, oh, oh no. They let a vamp... <laughs> Was I holding a spell there for half a second? Oh no, they let a werewolf run around in town. Uh, you think the companions wouldn't let this happen? Something about trying to com trying to keep it a secret that there's werewolves in their ranks. Uh, but we're just gonna run through town. We're just gonna... Hey! Stop that. Oh, oh no. Uh, the werewolf form is Garbo. Okay, thank goodness. What was that? That was... that was bad. Oh. Apparently, a uh, mage as a werewolf is like the weakest thing on the planet. Holy smokes. Alright. And then we get to talk to the only, uh... Sane character in this group. The only character with actual character development. Yep. We even have a celebration planned for you. Yeah, celebration. Great. I lost my my vampire abilities. I had those since the start of the game. You ruin everything. You ruin everything, Ella. Can you? Ooh, that's pretty. Oh, you're still talking. Okay. Uh, is there a cure? Cure. I. I love Codlac. I res. If he's worried about some mead swilling afterlife and Sovngarde, he's free to pursue it. What do you mean mead swindling? When you go to the Sovereign Guard, you're basically awaiting the end of times to be brought back. How is that not badass? Uh, we're getting into more advanced topics. Let's uh, stop that. Uh, but what I'm essentially, uh, is the theory is that uh, in real life, or in the real life uh, thing for uh, Vikings, is they go to Valhalla in preparation for the end of times. And essentially what happens at the end of the time is they all get called back to fight in this uh, godlike war, which is pretty badass, uh, which ties into the theory in Skyrim where essentially uh, the theory is, I just got to make sure we kill them all. By Ysmir, you won't leave your ally. I am Ysmir of the... I am the Dragon of the North, excuse me? Seems you haven't done your uh, local reading of the newspaper. Can't you... Uh, have you known that uh, the legendary Greg Piss has been named Dovakin? Like, you think you'd be uh, more t more privy to this information. I'm sure the Thalmor are. They got a book on me probably at this point. Okay. We did that all for 42 gold. Thank you, game. Okay, let's actually go into the building now. So, uh, what's theorized is that Lorcan is essentially trying over and over and over again to take control over the realm of Mundus. And he, because he can't die, he just keeps coming back. And the gods keep killing him again. And that's what the Dawn, or, yeah, the Dawn era is essentially is the end of time but also the start of time again. So it, basically all the gods are trapped in a loop by Lorcan over and over and over again as he tries to win, essentially. Which is a pretty cool theory. I don't know if there's actually any lore to confirm that besides the fact that um, Sovereign Guard exists and it ties very uh, closely to the mythos can you... Can you not kill me? Like, I hate when my spell just goes right through my opponent. I, I really don't like that. We were also going to regen. Get, get out of here, you wiener. So, you know, this is just standard uh, silver hand stuff. What do you mean? He's a werewolf. He's he's an abomination. Don't give him pity. Ay ay ay. Can you? Can you not? Just. Okay. And what am I doing? I should be conjuring uh things here. Boom. Boom. Don't step on the plate of doom. And go back. I guess I should get uh 
have any flesh on the bar. Make sure that's on there for as long as I need it. And we'll get lightning bolt on just in case, but I think we'll be fine. Okay. Uh, are you guys, uh, are you done yet? I mean, this guy's dead. Yank. Okay. I will feast on your heart. Very, very good. What was that? You just went into oblivion. As a master of conjuration, I can create many powerful incantations or spells with those with the talent to cast them. Uh, I'm just going to go this way. You know, just normal hallway decorations, you know? I mean, if I was killing werewolves, why wouldn't I just mount their heads? Oh, I hate archers. Can you leave me alone? Thank you. What is this? Oh, they disappear. I thought I heard a Dramora dying from a mile away. A carrot. Very good. Come on, chop chop. We haven't got all day. Uh, you know, let's uh, let's let's start the thunderbolt party. Oh, boom, boom. What? He dodged. What was this? That was like the Matrix. Where are you going? Where are you going? Can't run everywhere. Oh, come on, pathfinding. Where are you going? Goodbye. All right, let's get rid of this man too. Very good. Now take that free potion. It's like a smith area. There's a door over there. At this point, I couldn't even be bothered to pick up extra stuff. Oh, we are? How do you know? Have you been here before? Jeez. Yeah. Over here! Lol. Oh, no. Not like this. Whatever will I do? I'll just uh, stop time for a moment. Just normal stuff that any Dragonborn can do. And uh, drink all the stolen stuff first. Why not? Yoink. And just put down. Oh no! What happened to you? It seems you've learned a valuable lesson on not going in first by yourself. Oh, what an experienced warrior you are. Thank you. Yeah, we're just gonna loot some stuff while the fighting's going on in the background. That's fine. That's fine. Just standard stuff. Oh, hello. Ow. Get him. Ah, oh, who killed my dude? Oh, that hurts. Stop that. Come on. Chop, chop. Thank you. Can't believe that. Shoot me. Hurt me, so... Scorching? Really? That's all you got to offer me? Okay. Uh, your, your lover is dead. Somehow they managed to kill Skior. He was one of the strongest we had. Imagine if he didn't run in here like a, a, a fool by himself. Shield brother. Get out of here. I'm going to make sure we got the last of them and see if there's any information to be gotten from the bodies. Yeah, now we're just becoming murdering psychopaths. Score and Ayla, the smartest of all of them. All right then. Uh, oh yeah, well, what's our first start? I've caught if yeah. you can sneak into their camp and steal Let's get the first quest right off the bat. Why not? And we're also going to go over here. I'm just doing some multitasking. Okay, multitasking done. Open the door. Let's get out of here. Oh, my Dremora Lords are dying in the distance. Okay, come on. Chop, chop. Open the door. And we're out of here. So now we get to go across the map. Killing Silverhand. Yay. Who doesn't love doing such activities like that? Alright, where are we going to first? Where's the first spot? Uh, quest markers down in the right. Ah, uh, yes, the area with the uh, dog parties. Uh, I 
I don't think I can fast travel there. I think that's a bad idea. But I'm going to do it anyway. That should be fine. Look at that beautiful dashing where the Nord women of old. You can see residue of what probably was a beard. Never forget. Oh, and I got my horse. Yay. Yay. Oh, oh, thank you, Skyrim horse mechanics. Ah, yes, the classic EMB in water effect. Uh, excuse me? And there's a troll, what? Okay, okay, so only so many things at a time. Come on, game. Can't just show me a blue portal to oblivion right next to me. What, what? Or I mean, Aetherius or wherever this thing goes. Let's, uh, give it the old poke. Isn't the thing supposed to close? What? What is this? Give me your magic. Uh, they're still alive. Uh, that's the only way we're gonna kill those things. Uh, where's my thunderbolt? It's gonna be the only way to kill this dragon. What the heck? Okay. These things are still partying down here. And we're just gonna take the dragon's magic. Thank you, dragon. Oh, where's the dragon? Goodbye, dragon. It was nice knowing you. Uh, I did not enjoy that, but we do get soul gems from these things. Like, what the heck? A troll, three magic anomalies, and then a dragon on top of it. And the dragon's also going to destroy my frame rate as he uh, does the thing. Very good. Got a nice little look at that. Look into my eyes. Tell me what you see. All right. Now, we're going to continue on our way. And might as well just swim over there. Catch the fish, by the way. Great for potions. Great for potions. They're basically free. Free range fish. It's not like the Jarl's going to say you need a fishing license. Hopefully not. I, although I do think they should worry about somebody overfishing the population that could be very damaging for long-term trading effects on the economy and you know you gotta think long term all right we've made it all the way over here i should be able to get this done pretty easily hopefully hopefully we'll never know mm -hmm. Yeah, here we go. The dog does not like thunder. Alright, so this is where we get to siege a castle. So normally you just go through the door and then there's no actual way to go up. Uh, but we're just going to ignore that and we're going to scale the mountain. Because I hate archers, so we're gonna go kill them ourselves. Up we go. Very good. There we are. This should be the area where I can just hop on in. Thank you. How do you do, my fellow compatriots? How would you enjoy some Daedrock worshippers, my dudes? Hail Daedra. Hail Daedra. Yep. 
you know, just normal stuff. Then we get to go over here, up this way, ignoring the chest. Not even worth it. And we get to come up on the uh, Tower of Doom. All right, and we're gonna resummon these guys because their pathfinding is admirable at best. All right, put that thunder charm back onto the bar. Okay, uh, where's the big bad boss? He should be up here somewhere. Uh, I just launched all that stuff that I probably wanted to pick up. Oh, my bad, dude. We'll have to figure out where he went uh, in the next episode. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Oh. Oh. Okay. Uh, what do you got? You got some cash on you. Thank you. Uh, anything else good up here besides the occasional glitch of the light? Uh, my game does not like me having so many lighting mods. Uh, a book about the Lunar Lorcon, if you'd like to learn more about uh, the remnants of Lorcon after he got destroyed. Silverhand Stratagem, a 101 guide to being a Silverhand. You can buy your uh, copy today at the local governance. Proper lockpicking, very good, that's a level. Uh, now I need to remember, okay, let's just, let's get freaky. And by freaky, I mean figure out what my actual stats are. Uh, that's the trick. Okay, 250, so magic should be at 400. Health is at 250 stamina. Hmm, so... I think we want to get more into stamina now. They're upping that. Uh, do I have anywhere I can actually put my perk points? Not currently. Uh, anything in here? Maybe we can get better restoration, but really those things don't really do much for us. That's 90. Don't need dual casting there. I mean, anything else up here? No, that's a hundred. We already got augmented shock. Hmm. Don't have really many options left that we can do. We can go more into here. Uh, speechcraft, get more money, sneaking. I sort of want to start trying to actually get into other classes, but that'll probably happen later on so let's put it into a class that we're likely going to refresh uh, master level alterations don't really last that long it's never really worth it to go master anything uh, do I just want to pick up a second uh, make bound weapons better I guess don't mind that or what's the uh, other summoner options Double duration for conjured Atronox. I think that is actually pretty good. Uh, so we might want to go this way just to get our summonings better. So sure, why not? It's the only thing actually useful. Uh, and we blew off everything off this tower. In fact, let's read. Mm, delicious. Let's read this book. Where's the uh, 101 guide to, um, where is it? Do I even get it? Uh, proper lock design, it should be down here. No, this is my signed copy of the book. Rite of Passage, King. Uh, where, oh, no, oh, am I blind? What? Where is it? Oh, okay, the book no longer exists. That's a uh, thing, I guess. There's a quill. And we get a key in case we ever actually wanted to do the real dungeon, uh, which is going inside, but let's, uh, let's continue on. We're getting distracted here. Getting distracted. So ironic that um, 
instead of teaching you about a new Nordic thing or anything about the totems or anything more about Sovereign Guard, like this would be an excellent faction to give you more information on Sovereign Guard. Let's learn about a Daedric Prince Hercene. Ah, companions. All right. Sploosh. And we get to come over here, touch the... Ooh, what's that on the ground there? That... Don't mind if I do. Yeah. He's still yelling. I uh, ignore him. He'll yell at all hours of the day. Oh. And... Okay, here's your book. Perfect. Oh, I'm still naked. Whoops. The silver hand is one group... Get it back for the honor. Of yeah, yeah, uh, for the honor of the companions. We're definitely not doing this as a mission of revenge. Definitely not. I don't know why it tells you to go out this door. Literally, there's no point. Uh, thank you, Skyrim quest mark. Ooh, that nice. Ooh, like that. Okay. What's that like maroon? I don't even know colors. Why am I even talking? Uh, where do we? Where is this? Windler's Den. Isn't that north? Wouldn't that be like somewhere around here? I'm sure, it's blinking on the map right now, and I'm just too blind to see it. Oh, there we are. Okay, north of Broken Fang Cave. Alrighty. Alrighty. See how fast we can finish the campaigns. Obviously, they're not too long. I think we're halfway done and we're only like two episodes into the companions. Because, you know, they just decide me to like I'm already where I'm at. What are we on the like the fifth mission? I'm a werewolf and we're going on a revenge mission against a like. Uh, like, I don't know what they were thinking with this quest line, honestly. Like, the other ones you can sort of see, like, uh, the, the College of Winterhold has a lot of stuff that's hidden in the background that sort of allows them to flesh out maybe the next Mage Guild and add a lot of information there. Uh, the Thief's Guild goes into the Nightingales and really adds a more depth to the Thief's Guild. You get to bring the Thief's Guild back in Skyrim when it was almost gone, so that has its own plot. That's pretty decent. Uh, the Dark Brotherhood tries to triumph uh, Oblivion and makes you kill an Emperor. Uh, however, they sadly made all the characters and the entire... Uh, besides killing the Emperor, there's basically, how do I say it, nothing memorable about the Dark Brotherhood. The kills are all generic. It doesn't feel fun. There's just a floating dragon in the distance. Uh, what other faction have we talked about? Honestly, that's like really about it. So the factions in this game are really s sad compared to the previous factions. Like the Fighters Guild, even just the Fighters Guild you up in Oblivion, just the generic guild had more actual writing and all that was was there was another uh, company taking all the work and they were doping. That's the plot line, and it was better than the Companions, which should be a legendary thing about Vikings and Nordic traditions. Why did you mess it up, Bethesda? Oh, there you are. I was wondering where you were. Good day. So, that's my opinion on the Companions. I also really don't like the Dark Brotherhood. The whole thing that made Dark Brotherhood uh, really good in Oblivion was not so much the missions. Maybe the missions were memorable just to people because of the time period and you got the unique rewards and that was pretty... It, it basically made uh, things memorable by making you go your way to get unique rewards where in this game the unique rewards sort of go hand in hand with actually just doing the mission which doesn't make them very memorable. And all these side characters are basically we listen to the leader. The leader tells us what to do. Oh no, we got punished because our leader actually only cared about her own interest. And that's that's about it, really. Which is sort of sad. Uh, like, if you really just take the Emperor getting killed out of it, 
Um, it's sort of just really sad quest line, which is too bad. Oh, can you? All right, get over here and get these things off me. Excuse me. Uh, I hope you know this magic doesn't work on Greg Piss. Thank you. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, thank you for the hawk feathers. I guess I'll take the cure disease while I'm at it. Pick some coins. Who doesn't like picking up some fast cash? How fast can you tap? These are all questions we should ask. Ooh, you got beheaded. Ouch. Yeah, you smell the weakness all right. Let's uh, go upstairs here. It's me. Surprise. Wait, is that an archer? Changing targets. Not on my watch. Not on my watch. Goodbye. He just did like a cool hop over the fireplace. Very good. Uh, anything else? Anyone else in here? No, there's a... Praise be Talos. Yes, very good. On your hands and knees for Greg Piss, as it should be. Uh, let's think about what we say next time. Uh, continuing on, you get to come through here. So yeah, in Oblivion, the things that really made... Oh, you're not a person I really want to fight without a large amount of health. So we're going we're gonna to drink one of those. And eh, do we got some miners? We do. We'll just, uh, we'll just tip that off. Uh, we want this, this, this. Thank you. Thank you for draining all my health. Okay, chop chop. Yep, you will submit. Uh, why aren't they killing this uh, person begging for mercy? Excuse me. No mercy here, especially not from Greg Piss. I'd kill you if I had to. If only you had to kill. All right, moving on. Free fragment, you know, standard stuff like that. Anything else interesting here? Harvest salmon. Why is the salmon still there after I harvest it? These are questions we all need answers to. But we sadly did not get them. Oh, I help I've fallen and I can't get up. Ooh, look at this. Okay, very interesting. Little fog hole, I guess. Whatever you want to call it. Yeah, it's me. Your worst nightmare, buddy. Should have been paying attention earlier to all the loud noises going on in the hallway and the sound of death and destruction looming. Getting closer and you're dead. All right. We are nearing uh, the end, I think, of this episode. So I thank you for watching. Um, we have done a few things where we, we become a werewolf uh we killed an entire silver hand camp a guy died because he went in on his own so now we're on a revenge mission for a guy we didn't talk to maybe beyond once in this game Ooh, i like that i like that a lot so now we're going around we killed the silver hand we found their their book on 101 of how to be a silver hand and then we went and we killed some more silver hand and stole another Fragment of the Roof Head. Very good, very interesting. Greg Piss is growing in power ever so slightly, although he is weakened as he gets turned into a lowly werewolf of her scene. Disgusting. I'd much get more powerful things like, I don't know, magic from the God of Domination? Who wouldn't Greg Piss worship is the real question I think I have to think about. Uh, cause right now he's got a, a few people who, uh, sorry, he call him the champion. If you know what I'm saying, champion, Greg piss. Ooh, get that nice sunset in there. So thank you guys for watching this episode of I rant while playing Skyrim. It's becoming a quite completion of series. 
I'm probably going to start up a podcast series either here with my friend pretty quick coming up or by myself where I actually go through and I talk about lore and I actually pull from real sources like Wikipedia's and other things like that just to give a more fleshed out version of the lore. I know a lot of it and I can talk a lot off the top of my head, but it's much more interesting when you get the full thing because you're right now when I just talk about you're just getting my viewpoint or how I interpret the game because that's how this game truly is. There's no like in Morrowind, there was no actual ending to the main story that nobody really knows what actually happened. It's something you have to decide on your own. So look forward to that. I appreciate you watching all the way through and I'll see you in the next Skyrim episode.